hello everyone so now let's do one more lab uh, as per our student request we are going to do one more we are going to learn here icmp flood attack okay so this is a topic we are going to do in the evng we are going to add this video in the evng series so what we are discussing icmp flood flooding so let's uh, do a small basic lab to understand the concept so what i will do let me take the kali linux okay in the coming classes we are we are going to discuss in more detail about the kali linux and the firewall fortigate firewall we are going to start very soon a live batch so in that one we are going to discuss that one okay so now just have a overview about this one this is a kali linux i have one kali linux here okay and imagine you have one router here let me take any one router i will take this series okay this is one router i can give any name let me give me any name r1 i am taking this is a r1 okay and now what we are going to do we are going to connect this router to kali linux in real scenario we will have the firewall we will have the isp so many thing we will have but for the simplicity for the basic lab to understand the concept we are doing a small basic lab okay let me start this i will start this uh, linux kali linux i will start this router i am going to use the ip schema here 192.168.1.1/24 for the kali linux i will write here uh, 15 you can write any font size i will make bold and this will be blue or red any color you can select this is ip for the kali kali linux and this will be ip for the r1 that is 1.1.2 okay this one now we will do the basic configuration i will start the kali linux and this one the username is linux and the password is 123 okay so it will start let me go to the router console cli of the router here i will write no and we are going to configure the ip as per our plan let me move this up okay as per our plan we are going to assign this ip kali linux is ready we need to assign the ip to the kali linux how we will assign go here and then you can check the setting go advanced network configuration this one wire connection 1 and go here to the ip v4 setting here automatic dscp change to manual and go here the manual we are going to use and write the address what address we want to assign 192 okay i will uh, write here 192 some issue i think yeah let me write here see here just press add and write 192.168.1.1 and the mask will be 255 here this one or you can get from the dscp also but anyhow we are assigning now this one and the gateway we will write as a router id 192.168.1.2 okay and dns no need and just press this save button okay it's save now and now what we can do we can go here in the here in the what we can say command i will check if config but before that one let me write sudo super user and password 123 now i will write here if config to get the ip yeah we have the correct ip here if you see this is the correct ip so this one is ready our kali linux is ready now let's configure the router this is the router i am going to do basic configuration i will change the host name r1 and then interface fast ethernet 0 by 0 i will assign ip address 192.168.1.2255.255.255.0 and then we write no shut here okay just i assign the ip i will write i will save this one wr and i will write here show process if you see 
six percent is used okay we are going to send the attack to this router let me show you how we can do if we check here again if you see zero percent only here now we are going to send with the help of Kali Linux we are going to send what command we are going to use this command we are going to use for ICMP flood attack this is only for the lab purpose what we need to write h ping 3 dash 1 double dash flood dash 1 and write the IP address of this router so this router IP what I have here 192 1.2 okay let me show you what I am saying we need to write the IP address of the router so this is a command we need to type here okay if you want to send the attack how I know I am sending the attack because if you see here this is a processor is using only 0% CPU is utilized when we send the attack it will increase okay let's see now I will take the Kali Linux I am here in the Kali Linux now I am going to type h ping 3 dash 1 and double dash flood dash 1 and IP 192.168.1.2 I will press enter now if you go here and if you check here CPU will increase if you see 72 percent okay and if you want uh, to check here in Kali Linux also what I can do here let me open the Wireshark here so you can check in the Wireshark okay let me open the Wireshark Wireshark I will open we can observe or we can open Wireshark here also but anyhow I already open here so we can check in this Wireshark okay so here which uh, interface e this one ethernet 00 i need to capture if you see in this uh, wire sharp let me make a screen zoom i think it is small so let me i think you can see this now right so if you see here 192 1.1 is sending 192 1.2 okay this guy is sending the attack to this guy if you see ICMP protocol and ping request let me make this big and what I can do let me show you one more thing uh, other way easy way is I will here this router will hang after some time now if you see 89 percent this router is utilized why because the Kali Linux guy the bad guy is sending the lot of ICMP packets let me show you we will write debug IP ICMP with this one you will know see this is the attack they are doing in our router okay so what we can say we can say this is a ICMP flood attack so the guy the bad guy whoever sitting in our office he installed the Kali Linux in his laptop and he's sending the what we can say ICMP flood in our router to our router or to our server so our router will have the deny of service they will restart or maybe our router will shut down okay so this is the basic about the what we can say DOS attack deny of service attack and here if I want to stop just press Control C so it will stop and after that if you check here it will stop also okay so what we learn here in this one in this one we learn we take one router and we take one Kali Linux from Kali Linux we are sending the ICMP flood attack okay in the router R1 whatever the device you need to write the device IP where you want to send the flood attack so in our live batch that is the 40 gate batch we are going to use the 40 gate firewall in between and we are going to send this attack and we are going to configure the IPv4 DOS server policy to stop these types of attack okay very soon we are going to learn that one also okay thank you bye